Hi, hello, hi, how are you? Hi, hi, hi. Sorry, it's been so long. Uh, I've been sick and then I had to travel. Um, I'm in Ohio for a funeral. Uh, it was for an aunt that um, I wasn't really very close with, so, you know, your condolences are appreciated, but, you know, like, I'm okay. Um, tried to show the sign of the neighborhood. So, yeah, so I'm sorry uh, if I cough, because um, I'm still sick. No, it's not the coronavirus. It's just a cold and probably airport crud. Um, I know I didn't fly internationally, so it's not the coronavirus. People are freaking out over the wrong thing. So I'm currently in Cahaga Falls, Ohio. So I'm, I'm from Flagstaff. So this isn't like too big of a change. It's actually really warm here right now um, for February in Ohio. There's snow, but it's, it's actually pretty warm. Um, normally there'd be like a blizzard and you know a couple of feet of snow and it's just like a few inches you know barely um so i flew with miha for the first time i had to get a brand new suitcase for her i got one of those hard shell ones not a pelican case because i couldn't afford one but um she made it okay through uh, a hard-sided case her ears got bent a teeny bit um but nothing that I couldn't, oh, <laughs> as I run it, her into a tree. Nothing that I couldn't fix. Um, sorry for like the crappy, oh, god dang it. I'm gonna screw up her ear. <laughs> sorry for like the crappy angle. Um, I just, like a few minutes ago, just broke my selfie stick. So the angle isn't gonna be the greatest. I'm sorry if I'm like breathing hard. Because I'm walking, obviously. But I wanted to give you, you know, a little tour of my family's neighborhood in Ohio. And it's nice, but it's like every single tree looks the same. Every single house looks the same. Oh, God dang it. <laughs> every single tree is the same height. I should know that because I keep bonking my ear. It's really nice. Um, really kind of a ritzy neighborhood but uh it all looks the same <laughs> that kind of you know creeps me out my cousin he's three years younger than me well actually only two he's uh his birthday is this week my uncle's birthday is actually in the same week so we get to celebrate their birthdays um, but my cousin just graduated from college with like a sound design, sound recording kind of a degree thing. It's a, it's a bachelor's of science. I didn't know that that was like a bachelor's of science thing. I would think that would be a bachelor of arts, but whatever. So he said he wouldn't mind working with me on making some music for my channel to help brand my channel as I say so that means I have to come up with some kind of music and unlike the entire this half of my family of my family tree my mom's side of the family I am not musically inclined <laughs> I can't play anything I can't sing whereas they are all currently or were and you know church choir they can all play multiple instruments my cousin can even play the accordion <laughs> uh, we went to very Ohio fashion um, we went to a, a concert Bruckner I think is the composer's name it was cool I'd never even heard of him before it was very different. Um, I'm not going to try to describe the music because I'll sound like an idiot. It was very different. Definitely didn't sound like, you know, Bach and Mozart and whatever, Beethoven. It was really different. 
but it was like after like 20 minutes it was like this is all starting to sound the same and towards the end of it I <laughs> I have to admit I was really fighting to stay awake I'm sorry <laughs> so yeah but it's good you know to have cultural exposure right there's this place called melt that specializes in grilled cheese and mac and cheese that sounds weird um but it's actually really really freaking good and they have vegan stuff and <coughs> excuse me i'm sorry <coughs> their vegan cheese is actually legit it's actually good like i swear it's good i had this like buffalo chicken grilled cheese um and i like buffalo sauce a lot i make there's one thing i don't cook very well but there's one thing that i do cook super well and that's uh uh buffalo cauliflower wings it sounds disgusting but trust me every single person i've ever given it to even meat eaters have loved it so so i decided to go with buffalo one and of course it's like fake chicken and fake cheese and oh so good so freaking good i'm going to try to recreate it <laughs> when i get home so yeah, let me explain a little bit more about my aunt like i don't mean to be talking about her irreverently is that is that a word um i don't mean to speak ill of the dead you know like it's sad um but she was like super sick uh, so her death did not come as a surprise to anybody. It, I mean, it was a surprise in that it happened so quickly. All oh, this walking, all oh, this exercise. Oh my god. Bad. <laughs> Sorry. She was obese. She had severe diabetes. She was doing dialysis every single day. Um, you know, she was. She was, she just lived in bed. She couldn't do anything. She couldn't go out. She crocheted and knitted. That was like her only activity other than to just like lay there and watch TV. Um, which is kind of a cycle that fed itself, of course, because the more that she didn't eat right and didn't exercise, the the more unhealthy she would be, but the more unhealthy she would be, the harder it was for her, you know, to do healthy stuff. So it just got to the point where she was just completely bedridden. They had to use like a lift thingy to get out of bed. She had bed sores, you know, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, she just, she had a lot of problems. So we were told by my uncle like a month ago, I don't know, that she wasn't doing well. Um, so we were like expecting, okay, you know, maybe in like the next year she'll pass. But then, you know, we get that, oh, actually she died already. So sad and sudden, but not unexpected um, and then also I'll put it this way my aunt and my mom didn't have the best relationship um, it's too bad that they couldn't resolve it before she'd passed but you know that's just how it was so yeah, like, I felt really bad that I wasn't crying during the service, you know, and I can, I don't mean to be flippant about it, but it's just, it is what it is, you know, so, um, yeah, it was better that she not continue living the way that she was, because it was just, no, it wasn't good for anybody. <laughs> you know, she wasn't exactly living. She was 
existing, you know, so. So, but anyways, um, you know how they say, like, families, you only get together for weddings and funerals. <laughs> so we're here for, like, a little over two weeks um, to spend some time with the family also because we haven't seen them since my grandpa died. <laughs> And, you know, God willing, the next time we see each other, it won't be for a funeral. <laughs> there aren't any really old family members at the moment. <laughs> not, you know, not on our side, but like, not on this side of the family anyways. Um, so, hopefully the next time we get together, it'll be for a joyous occasion <laughs> instead of a sad one. Okay. So, whew, I talked all about me, not much about Columbus. Um, it's pretty much like Five Staff right now. Normally they have a, a ton more snow. Uh, well, I like it, but it's also a little more upscale. You know, it's 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 not the Southwest. <laughs> you know, we have a we have a lot more laid back. You know, way of life, way of thinking. Over here, it's a little more stiff upper lip, I guess you call it. Not that that's bad. It's just, it's just different. You know, I'd say that we can be definitely lazy at times. Um, but here, they can almost be too conservative sometimes. But it's also really nice. Like this neighborhood is nice. It's a hell of a lot cleaner than my neighborhood. There isn't a single scrap of trash anywhere, which I can literally pick up a hundred pieces of trash every single time I go out. And I do, I do. I actually take trash bags with me and pick up trash every time I go out with Spirit. And yeah, I come home with bags and bags of it. It's disgusting. So, you know, every place has their pros and cons. Well, I'm back home and I'm losing the light. So I better go. Thanks for listening to me ramble, and I'll see you in the next one. Hopefully the next one will be more, like, fun. I'm hoping for, like, a, who knows, like an Ohio ASMR or something. I have no idea. Or airport ASMR. I don't know. See you in the next one. Love you. Bye.